back with Larry Lujak, morning radio DJ at WLS, super jock as he calls himself. Do you feel a responsibility for what you say you're doing there? Sure. What types sure. of things do you avoid? I avoid, okay, I think drugs are stupid. You don't hear me, uh, you know, doing anything that would in any way uh, make drugs seem hip or glamorous or sophisticated, like a lot of rock disc jockeys do. I think rock and roll disc jockeys and rock and roll musicians to um, a large extent are responsible for the drug problem we have in this country today. And I think drugs are stupid and anybody who does drugs is a complete 50,000 watt idiot. Um, so I don't, uh, I don't do that kind of stuff. Do you have any idols in the business? Is there, is there someone you uh, really look up to in the radio business? Not rock radio, but in broadcasting. Uh, Whom may that be? <laughs> he said I think it. the best individual on radio today, and this will stun and amaze you, is Paul Harvey. Ah, ah. a rock and roll disc jockey saying that he admires Paul Harvey. Yeah, Why? I think he's the best that has ever been in radio news. Why? Because his newscasts are interesting, he writes well, his uh, delivery is um, some, most, no, a lot of radio newscasts. See, radio is hard to do. Uh, television news, you show pictures. You know, radio, we got no pictures. But a lot of radio newsmen, you listen to it and it goes one ear and out the other. You don't really hear it. Mm -hmm. Paul Harvey is not that way. It's impossible. Uh, to punch in Paul Harvey and not actually listen to him because he is so good with the delivery and he can take a completely nothing story and make it sound like the most interesting thing you've ever heard in your life. He can do the same thing with commercials. I think uh, he's the best there ever was. Larry, thanks very much for being with us this evening, off the record, and thank you. We'll see you next week. Good night. Last Thanksgiving, all the family was, was in the house getting ready for this big Thanksgiving dinner. And somebody took the, um, the big frozen turkey out of the freezer. It was a big turkey, about 25 or 30 pounds. Yeah. And it was all frosty and kind of slippery, taking it to the oven. And uh, whoever was carrying it accidentally dropped it on the family's uh, little chihuahua dog. Oh. Yeah, and he was killed instantly. <laughs> little Tommy. Oh, it's tragic. Yeah, it is. And... Um, Thanksgiving Day dinner was then canceled because uh, nobody was in the <laughs> in the mood to to eat. <laughs> he didn't have any pictures of it though, oh, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all the time we have for animal stories this morning, boys and girls. Tune in again at the same time tomorrow for more highly acclaimed, world-renowned animal stories with your charming and delightful old Uncle Lair. And sidekick Old Town. Until then, this is both of us. Him and me. Saying, so long. <laughs> The best music, WLS.